If you don't want your BMW's engine to turn into a coffee table in somebody's living room, you're going to want to follow this tech tip. If you just complete a major repair in your BMW's engine, or you're installing a brand new long block, or you've rebuilt an engine, or you simply have an engine that you pulled out of storage or from a scrapyard, whatever the case might be, uh, there is a service bulletin from BMW that specifically states that you should prime the engine before you start it. Now, in the case of this N55, which is just on rod bearings and an oil pan gasket on, this service bulletin came specifically from N55s in the dealer environment having issues after oil filter housing gaskets were done, oil pan gaskets, vano sprockets, oil pump replacements, etc. Basically, anything that interrupts the flow of oil through the oiling circuit or anything that opens up the oiling circuit past an oil change, the recommendation is to prime the engine and prime the circuit simply by disconnecting the injectors and cranking the engine three times for 10 seconds. That allows all the air to be purged out, oil to flow through from the bottom to the top, and then hopefully, theoretically, mostly, and it should, prevent any kind of problems from happening afterwards. So it goes without saying before you prime your BMW's engine oiling circuit, uh, number one, have oil in the engine, step one. Uh, in this case, I have the injectors uh, disconnected, so it's not possible for the engine to dump fuel. Uh, but past that, I've also removed the spark plugs. The reason being, and this is an additional step, uh, it's just to make it a little bit easier on the starter motor so it's not fighting compression, and also, you know, a little bit easier on the battery as well. Uh, in the service bulletin, BMW says leave the spark plugs in and have the car on a charger, but not everybody has a charger that's capable enough of delivering enough amperage where you can just keep cranking the engine like that. So this will make it easier on the starter. It'll make it uh, easier on the battery as well. So at this point, I'm hopping the car and we're going to crank it three times for 10 seconds each. And that's all we need to do. So here we go. Here's going to be our first crank for 10 seconds. It's going to sound like nothing's happening at all just because the engine's going to be spinning. Check engine light came on, which it's going to because the engine's spinning and nothing is starting as intended. Give the starter motor some time just to cool down, although technically at this level, it's just freewheeling the engine. That's our second time. How are you guys doing today? All right, and that is it. So yeah, it is that simple to prime your BMW's oiling circuit three times for 10 seconds. Also, like I said, much easier on the starter motor and also on the battery if you just remove the spark plugs, which is just one extra step. Uh, but all of that is just to get pressure in the system and move oil from the bottom of the engine to the top of the engine. Especially important for any engine that's been sitting around for a long time, like something from a salvage yard, or maybe an engine that you just finally rebuilt that has had no oil run through it at all. Uh, but even on an engine that has been in service and has gone through major repair, anything that involves opening the oiling circuit, it's not a bad idea to prime the engine first, just remove any air from the system and make sure that all the oil has been pumped from the bottom of the engine all the way to the top. But there's a really easy thing that you could do just to make sure that after a major repair, you don't run into any unforeseen problems down the road. We hope you learned something this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And we have a lot of videos on the way, so hit subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. And we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.